Question I have any calories can you eat? Before you start gaining weight and doing order. Yo doing order, what's the tip? How many calories can you eat before you start gaining weight? <laughs> what sort of fucking question is that? <laughs> eat the fucking whatever the fuck you wanna eat. Eat as much as you fucking want. Understand a calorie's not a calorie. Two and a half thousand calorie smoothie, bananas, organic sugar. Not the fucking same as where's my donut? Not the same as two and a half thousand calories of donuts, is it? It's not the same. It's not the fucking same. People say, calories are calories. Go and eat two and a half thousand calories of donuts for a week, and then go and eat two and a half thousand calories of bananas next week. Check your blood test, check your sporting performance, your mental clarity, your spiritualness, or whatever you want to believe in, whatever, just your, you know, just the whole lifestyle, the vibe. Calorie is not a calorie, my friends. So how much can you eat before you start gaining weight? <laughs> that's don't even fucking ask a dumb question. Or that's like saying, <laughs> how much sun can you have before your clothes fucking become spontaneous combusted or whatever? How much calories can you eat before you gain weight? This is this is the level where people are at in society. We don't get taught this in high school or primary school or college or university. You can go study nutrition for 10 years and get a PhD in nutrition, you will not learn a calorie isn't a calorie. You get told a calorie is a calorie, calories in, calories out, balanced diet, everything in moderation, fats, proteins, a little bit of carbohydrate, not too much, a little bit of something, not too much. just nonsense. Don't write, write rice will give you obesity. Um, what about China, Indonesia, Malaysia, India, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand? What about these countries? No. Fucking nonsense. I didn't know how to answer this, this video. When you eat Real foods, long term, you'll never ever have an excess weight issue in your life. Rather, it will be the opposite. You'll always be on the edge of being underweight, like myself, like everybody else. That's why I keep my training in check. If you watch me on Strava, you'll know that January I'll go crazy, and then the rest of the year just... Because I'll get too fucking lean. I'll get so lean, so underweight, people are like... Dude, you look fucking skinny, man, but now you look really fucking sick. Or you look sick, but now you look really fucking sick. Or you look really fucking fucking sick, and now you look fucking fucking extra sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, long term, you're going to get so fucking leaned out, you have to limit your physical activity. Otherwise, you'll just be like, this like Tour de France fucking 2% body fat all year long, and that's not going to be healthy. It's not going to be healthy, so you have to limit your physical activity. Otherwise, you just get too lean on the high-carb, low-protein, low-fat, low-sodium, fruit-based or fruitarian or vegan lifestyle. Just That's just a fact. Just a fact, 100%. Especially low-sodium because the sodium retention just bogs people out. Once you cut the sodium down long-term, it's just you just slim right the fuck down. Again, look at the long-term examples. Don't, don't like... Compare yourself with other people who've been doing something for 10, 5, 10, 20, 30 years and go, I've been doing this for like three months now and I'm not like them. It's like, come on now. You wouldn't start learning piano and, and compare yourself to a concert pianist, would you? I've been doing this for three months every day after college and I'm not really that good yet. I, don't, I think I'm going to quit. <laughs> it takes years, man. If someone has abused their body for a long time, it's going to take a few years to everything to settle down. If you gain a bit of weight eating fruit or healthy foods, your body needed to. And it could be fat, it could be fluid, it could be lymph, it could be a lot of things. Just like if you smack your hand on the edge of the desk and it gets all swollen, and you go, shit, I better take some anti-inflammatories to swell up. No, 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 no. Let the body do its thing. Oh, I'm getting a bit of weight, I'm going to starve, I better do some fasting. No, 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 no. Let the body do its thing. Let things settle out. Oh, I'm really tired. I better have some coffee. No, no, no. Let the body have rest. I'm really hungry, but I shouldn't really eat. No, let the body have food. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm really like, I'm just like, oh, I feel dehydrated, but I don't, maybe I, I, need, I don't want to go to the toilet again. No, give the body hydration. Let the body have a dump. Let the body urinate. Let the body breathe. Let the body be. Okay? That's all i got to say, man, is... Judge by results, not by theory. Look at the long-term examples. And don't freak out or whatever. Or focus on aesthetics <laughs> over health. 
because what's going to happen then is you'll just get caught up in the steroid world, the Botox world, the fucking... The, and that's fine, but it can become a one-way street because then you base your identity around your aesthetics and then you're never looking good enough. You always got to do something else next. And then you just become this fucking nutcase to be around. I've been around a lot of models and stuff, just fucking... Man, they are just so touchy. It's like you're walking on peaches, just not just not to get, you know, squash something. Just touchy as fuck. So calm the fuck up. Understand being lean is natural. And it can take a while to get there, but you will get there. And do it the healthy way, which is a sustainable way. It's a fun way. You don't have to fucking starve. Look at that. I'm eating a fucking smoothie bigger than my head. <laughs> this is a snack. Snack time with Duran Rider. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Eat as much as as you fucking want, sleep as much as you fucking want, do whatever you want to do, it's your life, one life, one shot, one choice, we all choose the life we live, thanks.